Hey guys, so I'm super excited to color this hair today because one, I have a new little tool with me. It is by Color Track Tools. Ah, I'm so excited to use it. So here I have my balayage board and this is what I'm gonna be using to color my unit. The idea is basically you're gonna get a piece of hair and then when you do your balayage, just paint it on there, which is a lot better because trying to do that with foil and then balancing it on your wrist is a hot mess sometimes. So I'm gonna start by sectioning the hair off. So when you color your wig, you definitely want the front is the best part, but then the back is just as, is just as important because when you turn around, you know, everyone wants to see that nice blended color. You definitely want everything to be well blended. Now that I have my wig all sectioned out, I'm gonna start in the back section. Hey guys, so I just had to stop and show you how the process is going so far. I must say this hair process is really good. Um, the reason why I stopped and rinsed it out is because I did use 30 volume developer. If you do use a higher developer, just be fast at it. Don't use 30 volume and then wait until you're at the very last to say, oh crap, I need to rinse it out. That will over process the hair that leads to damage and then you're like, oh, this hair is no good because it's, you know, it, it did what hair does. So I use a 30 volume developer and once I feel that the color is light enough, um, I rinse out this section and then I go on with the next section. Section. I don't want to over process the hair where then it turns into like kind of, it feels, has that like rough texture and it's really dry. So you definitely, if you're gonna use a higher developer, please be aware that you will have to rinse out the hair after like at least 25 minutes to depending on how high it lifts um, and, at, and now the hair still feels very soft I just rinsed it out no shampoo um, so now everything is looking good I'm getting a little bit of shedding but that's perfectly fine for the situation we're in and now I have this last section that's about almost ready to be rinsed out and then after that I'm gonna start working on I have I'm already started on this section but I just had to stop and show you guys how light it's gotten already and this is like the perfect, this is only one process, so I've only bleached this hair once so far. While my hair is, even though I didn't rinse out all the pro, I mean I didn't shampoo it, what I'm going to do is actually add um, a detangler, which is just like a rich conditioner, just to keep the hair nice and soft. Just to keep it conditioned, I'm just going to twist it out the way. Hey guys, so now I'm done bleaching the hair. Now we are gonna get into color, and I'm very excited. One thing I've noticed is that I do use professional color, and a lot of people were asking me where I get my color, and they can't find it in stores. Um, I say it's professional, and I'm, since you know a lot of people who do watch my videos aren't professionals, I decided to start doing um, hair color with colors that everyone can get to. Um, so I kind of chose a popular uh, hair color brand that you, that is well known on YouTube. You already know what I'm talking about. Yep, that is the Adore brand. So I started getting that. and I used it once for the red hair and I actually really do like this brand. So I got three colors today. I got indigo blue, baby blue, pink blush. So basically what I'm going to do is called a color melt. I'm going to start dark, light, and then end with a nice pop of color. I mean the whole wig is a big pop of color. But first I'm going to use the indigo as uh, as for the roots for a shadow. So let's, re let's hope this comes out as good as I hope it will because um, my hair isn't very, isn't that light as I usually get it.
Yeah. 